Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently I did a campaign for Benefit's new California Kissing Color Balm. So I wanted to share that with you today and to be completely transparent, they did pay for a sponsored post on my Instagram, but this video is not sponsored. This is just something that I wanted to do because I really want to share with you all of the planning, shooting, and events involved with making a campaign because some things were great and smooth and some things were not so great. You just spilled everywhere. <laughs> but you died though. But in the end, we came out with something that I'm really proud of. And I know a lot of you guys like my come to work with me videos. So if you want to see that and see some cool places around Hong Kong, then please keep watching. All right, so let's go back a bit because before this day, we had about two weeks of planning. We had some emails back and forth. We had a couple Zoom calls. I was in charge of preparing the outfits. I wasn't necessarily the stylist, but I had to put forth what I thought would look good for the concepts and then everyone sort of gave their opinions. So we had to plan all the looks, the lipstick colors we were gonna shoot, the locations, what to bring, the car that you sort of drive around in and get ready in. And after all of the planning was said and done, it was the shooting day. Morning, guys. Oh, is it? Oh, he's gonna pour. Guys, this is my Little Mermaid moment. There's an actual fork tool that exists okay. for hair. Uh, okay. Good morning, guys. We are on set today with Benefit Cosmetics. I'm working with a really great team. I'm working with Sam is Home and Victor, and they are content creators here in Hong Kong. They create really amazing shots, so they're kind of creating direct... Oh, there's Sam there. I was just talking about you. <laughs> you want to pop in? <laughs> I love what she does on her social media and like all her photos and TikToks, so I'm so excited to just like... We're part of your vision. Oh, like, thank just you. Just your creative like, <laughs> environment today. Um, and her fiance, Victor's over, over there. there. I'll introduce you guys all later. And then we have Ivan doing the videography. Oh, we're going to pan. Got the benefit team. Really great working with the benefit team because they're, they let us express ourselves really freely. They let us um, take the concept into our own hands. Kind of have a California theme, but we brought it to the city. Also, I'm really grateful for the team because my skin has not been the best. And usually on these days, I stress out. This morning I woke up with a huge bug bite. Something attacked me in the night and um, pimples as usual. I have hormonal things, but uh, in my modeling days, there's been many times where I either didn't get the job because of my skin or I would show up to work and get canceled. Like there was one time I took a full on trip. Like I had to take a train to a location for a shoot that took me half a day. And then when I got there, the client saw I had some pimples and they canceled me on the spot and sent me home without paying me. So I've had some bad memories of this and just being able to be myself today and be a human with real skin and real issues, but still being able to work in the beauty industry is just really refreshing. And I know that I'm more than just my face or just my makeup. I'm here as myself and expressing myself with how I want to through makeup. And so I, I'm really grateful to the Benefit team for giving me this opportunity. I believe I'm like having a moment. The hormones are coming in. <laughs> so yeah, I will take you guys Along with me throughout the day, we're going all around Hong Kong and shooting in different locations and it's going to be a great day. Our first location was Choi Hung Estate and it's famous for its basketball court with its colorful apartments and palm trees surrounding it, which is how it got its name because Choi Hung Estate actually translates into Rainbow Estate and a lot of you guys might recognize it from Luna's Love and Live video. Um, or countless other Instagram photos. It's really famous here. So it was 9 a.m. on a Saturday, a very hot 32 degrees Celsius. I sat there to get my hair done first, fan in hand like a true local. I feel like I'm fully submerged in the Hong Kong culture now with my portable fan. <laughs> this is the first time I've carried this. <laughs> Much Since everything that day was out on location, we had to get this massive generator in order to power the hair tools and the photography equipment. And when I was first sitting there, I couldn't help but feel like that sound plus the wind blowing through my hair and on my face felt like I was driving some supercar on my way to some vintage 
Wes Anderson Dream World. The first lipstick color was selected, which was Coral. It's a very bright, orangey, summery look, perfect for the location. lipstick change, we moved on to our red Hollywood theme located in Causeway Bay. <laughs> I got to pose with Gai Dan Zai and Zhang Lai Cha, which for those of you who don't speak Cantonese, or those of you that do speak Cantonese, is uh, egg waffles and bubble tea, which are two super popular snacks amongst locals here in Hong Kong. Then we headed to Wan Chai to shoot our road trip theme. So when coming up with concepts for a road trip, it was, we were a bit stuck because none of us owned a car. So we decided to use the iconic tram in Hong Kong, which has been around for a long, long time. And it's a great way to see the city. It's very slow paced and relaxing. You have the windows open, the wind blowing in your hair. Yeah, it's just a very iconic Hong Kong symbol. After that, it was 4 p.m. and we were all starving, so we grabbed some pho before heading to our next location, which was Instagram Pier. That's not the official name for it though, that's just what it's known as because everyone goes there to watch the sunset because it's one of the most amazing places to watch it in Hong Kong. Sam and Victor set up this picnic area for me, complete with champagne, which was actually 7-Up. And the berry color lipstick was chosen, which is a very deep, romantic, purplish, slightly red color. We shot until the sun was completely gone, and then that was a wrap for that day. And then a couple of days later, I went to Sephora to shoot because Sephora was actually the place I was supposed to host a meet and greet on Benefit's behalf. But because of COVID-19, I wasn't able to do that, and they decided to do a live stream instead. I arrived on the live stream day. I was really nervous because I'm not so comfortable doing live streams. I've done only a couple before, but usually it's just at home where I'm just answering questions and talking to you guys. But this one was a little bit more structured. It had a full schedule where I had to change or say things every three minutes pretty much. So uh, yeah, I was very nervous, but as soon as I arrived, I was really excited to see the booth reveal. They had set up this Benefit California Kiss and Color Balm booth, complete with my video on display. And it was just so cool to see all of our hard work in physical form, and it was just so bright and cheerful, and yeah. So the live stream went well until I had to sing in Cantonese, and that is where I completely froze. Ooh. Wait, can you start that again? <laughs> I can't even sing in English. Sung by Dai Nei Ding Wai. I'm sorry, I did not do him justice. I don't know if I can do these songs. Sorry, maybe maybe I can just maybe I can just have a chat with them. Okay. I'm finding it so hard to listen, and there's so many things going on too, and I can't sing. Oh God. Despite me feeling really awkward and embarrassed and unsure of what to do, I think we just sort of ended the line there. There were supposed to be eight songs total and after trying like I think three or four and me not doing it, we just kind of ended it and then there was nothing more on the schedule and then I wasn't sure what to do because I'm not sure what I can or can't do and something when you're working with a brand, you can't just talk about whatever you want, you know, because there's legal things involved, I don't know. I was just scared to do anything and I was just frozen, so we just ended the live. Um, but despite all that, the Benefit and Sephora team were all super um, encouraging and understanding. They know that this happens and they knew that this was my first time doing Instagram live. And you guys were super supportive. I remember looking out and seeing so much encouragement in the comments and it just really made me feel so much better. So thank you for that. Oh, thank you guys for the encouragement. Let's try it one more time. Okay, we're trying this singing thing again. But you die to. But you die to. Me see like so. I feel like I can't do her justice and I really can't. That was kind of a disaster. 
here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Something came over me, and it was like a feeling I never really felt before. Like, I felt like I was gonna cry on the spot. Like, I'm, I'm terrified of singing in public. It takes me a long time to warm up to you and sing, and I kind of do a little bit now on, on, uh, on YouTube, but that's also a recording that I can take out if I want. But doing it live, oh, I just, like, I, it was, it felt weird. Um, also in Cantonese, because I was trying to listen to the Chinese, and then when I would think about the words, then the next line was coming already so fast, and I had the music playing in the shop. Also, there was a fire alarm going off, so I didn't know what that was about. It was just a lot at once, but I tried my best, and the team was really supportive, and I'm so thankful for you guys, and all, I could see all your supportive comments rolling through, and that really helped. I also saw someone say, I don't know who thought this was a good idea when I was trying to say. <laughs> Not that I totally agree with you, it didn't work out. I don't think it was what anyone expected it would be and unfortunately it's live so we can't cut it. So that was just the reality of what it was. It was a good learning experience. I feel like with anything you will get better the more you do it. But part of me is just like this kind of thing, live streaming maybe just isn't for me. That's also okay. Great, so I guess that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes video. And if you do want to purchase the lipstick, it's available now here in Asia at the Sephora shops or the benefit shops online and offline. And then I think it's going to be available in the rest of the world in August. So you have to wait a little bit for that if you do want it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.